Alright, so we'll now go back into the game class and make two methods. The first one being make move, which has one parameter called i, and i will be the index of the square we're trying to make a move on. So an index of this array right here. We we'll also need a method called check for winner, which will be called once a move has been made, checking for a winner of the game. So inside make move, we'll just put an if statement up here, and we'll say if the game is in progress and the square we're trying to make a move on doesn't already have a value set to it, we're good to go. So we'll just type that in right there saying if there is no value set to the square we're trying to make a move on, then we're alright. So now we'll actually just set the value of the square. So we can say this dot squares at this index i value is equal to the current turn. Because current turn is either an O or an X depending on uh, whose turn it is right now. So that works. We also need to increment the moves made counter to say that a new move has been made. And we also need to check for winner after a move has been made and swap the value of the current turn. So obviously if it was O's turn and a move was made then now it's X's turn. So we just do this using a condition here. We say if the current turn is equal to game.o the next turn is going to be x, uh, sorry, just like that, otherwise the next turn will be o, and that'll just swap the turns around. That's all for make move. Now into check for winner, um, we'll first think about how we can do this. So back in the demo, we can see that we have 9 squares on the board, with each square having an index. We can see that we have, um, we have square 0, we have square 1, square 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8. So in tic-tac-toe, you win the game by having three squares that are the same value. Um, so what we can do is think about these sort of combinations as being a set of indexes. So for example, you can win by having the same value at indexes 0, 1, 2, the same value at, for example, 3, 4, 5, the same value at 2, 5, 8, and so on. So back in the uh, check for winner method, we can actually just define a 2D array um, containing all the possible winning combinations. So I'll just copy and paste this from a previous project um, right in here. And this is all our possible winning combinations. So once again, for example, looking at, um, I don't know, 2, 4, 6 on the bottom there, this basically represents uh, we have index 2, and then 5, and then 6. So now, we'll need to loop through all of these combinations and check whether or not the same value exists at those uh, each of those squares. So we can say for each of the winning combinations, we'll run this function right in here, and we'll call uh, one of these combinations wc, just like that. And in here, we'll just um, actually first, uh, we'll need to separate each index, so each one of these indexes, into A, B, and C. We can do this by typing const A, B, C is equal to W, C. So, that, so that'll separate, once again, the array into three separate parts, um, A, B, and C variables. So for example, in this one here, um, in this case, a is equal to 0, b is equal to 3, and c equal to 6. That makes sense. Um, now we need to actually get the square object, so the actual square object at these indexes. So we can type out uh, square a is equal to this dot squares at index a, and the same thing for b and c. So now we have those, we need to check if there is actually a value in the first index. So we can say if there's a value at square A 
And then we can say, if the value at square A is equal to the value at square B, and the value at square A is equal to the value at square C, in this case right there, there is three in a row of the same symbol. So now we can say that the game has been finished and there's a winner. So we'll say the game is no longer in progress, so I'll say in progress set to false. And we'll need to set the winner variable, so this.winner equals the value of the symbol, sorry, uh, equal to the symbol in square A. This will be either a uh, x or an o. So, oh sorry, o or x. There we go. Alright. And also we need to actually set the is highlighted property of all these squares set to true because we want them to turn green, you know, once the move has been done. So we'll set, um, we'll set square a dot is highlighted equals square b dot is highlighted equals square c dot is highlighted equals true. That'll set all the is highlighted uh, properties of all these squares set to true. Alright, so what if all this runs and there's no winner? Well, there's a potential that the game has been a tie. So we can actually check for this. We'll just say check for tie. And we can say if the moves that have been made, or the amount of moves that have been made, is equal to the length of the squares array, in other words, equal to 9 in our case, but we can use squares.length for you know a bit more, I guess, better practice. Um, so if basically all the squares have been filled up and there's no winner because this didn't run, right? Then the game is no longer in progress. And because this if statement didn't run before, the winner variable or the winner instance variable will be equal to null anyway. So in the background, um, in progress is equal to false and winner is null. And that is because this if statement didn't run. So that's actually it for the model. That's all done now. We can then go on to do the uh, CSS and the view stuff. But before that, we'll just uh, go into the console again and check on the active game. And we can use the methods now. So we'll just log out active game again. And we can see that the, um, the game is in progress. And the current turn is zero. And no moves have been made. And all the squares are also equal to null, just like before. Now we can say active game, and we'll make a move on index number three. Press enter. Now checking active game again, we can see that the turn now is for x from zero, and one move has been made, and also the square at index three is, well, has a value of zero. Alright, so let's get right into the view stuff now, the exciting bit, and we'll try and represent this model on the page.